times I was just sitting at home and crying and being helpless and so uh, I was so low that I wanted to give up and just to uh, go back home and I think it's a very common feeling that many uh, students experience not only international students but uh, just students out of state uh, who come to absolutely new area you know and they don't know anybody and I think what helped me uh, to cope with these problems um, is the fact that I tried to keep my academic social and cultural kind of aims and aspirations uh, in mind I tried to attend various trainings and uh, go and listen to uh, you know speeches and presentations uh, of different professionals and academics who are invited to Purdue constantly, almost on a daily basis. I receive emails about uh, that person coming to speak and that person giving a, a workshop and this training on technology. Uh, and so I tried to get involved in those things and learn academically. I also wanted to be proactive and I applied for um, a couple of conferences and so in a month or so I'm gonna go to Philadelphia and I'm going to present at the TESOL conference which is a conference for teachers of speakers to other languages and I think those career goals also help me to uh, move forward. Uh, as I said I'll try to be uh, open-minded and to be involved in various cultural events and when you meet people, uh, especially international students from different countries, they are also going through these difficult times and they're also experiencing, you know, um, hard times transitioning. And so when you can talk to them and have uh, coffee times or lunch times with them, that helps a lot. Um, my roommate, she's from Morocco and she uh, on a daily basis has lunch times. So from friends from her department and some other friends that she met uh, during the orientation week, they just get together and have lunch every day somewhere between 12 and 1 and talk about things and I think that helps them to um, uh, talk about things that bother them and share their new experiences and uh, get advice. Yeah, from certainly. Every, every international student is bound to go through that experience of being your first Christmas being lonely or your first Easter being lonely. I also went through that experience but you have to realize people have been here and have done it. So you have to look out for those people. Try to make friends with those people. They know what to do and will tell you what to do in situations like that. You could travel. You could go see high school friends, go see college friends and other universities. Um, get yourself doing something so that you don't just get bored or weighed down by that depressing feeling of being lonely. You will definitely go through those withdrawals. But hopefully with time, you will get used to your new lifestyle and make friends. And just, I mean, it's an opportunity to not just get a degree, to educate yourself with other people's cultures, with other people's languages, make friends. You can never tell where your friendship will take you. I have this crazy idea. I want to just rent a car and uh, travel around the U.S. Just start from New York, go down to Florida, across the southern state to California, up to Washington state and back to California. So that's a crazy idea that I have. I um, think it would be a great experience for me to see big towns and small towns, rural areas and uh, urban areas. As far as my life goals are concerned, I just wanna be a good educator and I wanna um, educate people. And not only as far as the content of my uh, subject area is concerned, but I just wanna educate them to be good people to uh, critically look at life, not to accept everything in the face value and to dare to risk uh, and to try out different opportunities and to be confident in themselves and find out what they really, really like to do and so that they can have the energy and strength to pursue those dreams and aspirations. And I hope I can be a, a good role model for them. So those are my big uh, life goals, I guess. And uh, yeah. yeah, skydiving is number one on my list. I've been planning, a couple of my colleagues here at school, they went skydiving last spring. I mean, it was a little pricey, so then I couldn't go, but I'm planning that's something I should do this year. I went to Times Square last Christmas, so that was one thing I also wanted to do on my bucket list, to see the ball drop. So I was in New York for the, to, for the New Year countdown. Definitely skydiving is the next goal. Then skiing, I need to go skiing too. <laughs> I need to go skiing on Colorado or Michigan. That's something I need to do before I eventually settle down to that work or family lifestyle. 
And I know everybody runs through the engineering fountain. When they get done, I might do that, <laughs> depending on the weather, if it's winter, if it's, if it's summer, but depends on when I get done. Yep.